What if I were to tell you that Nintendo has been dealing with a company, a actual business, stealing their content? I kid you not, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of Nintendo's copyrighted owned content has been stolen by another business. And as we know, Nintendo is one of the most litigious companies in the world. They do not take kindly to anyone stealing anything that belongs to them. Heck, they'll go after individuals, let alone going after, you know, entire corporations and businesses. And the funny thing is how this was done, they may not be alone. Google may have a bone to pick with this company, as way Disney and so many others. This is an insane story and also gives us the biggest warning sign to date of the dangers of AI. Now, one thing we need to talk about when talking about artificial intelligence is Nintendo president Shintaro Furukawa, who warned that the biggest issue facing generative AI isn't that Nintendo won't use it, but is the idea that they could have a lot of intellectual property rights issues because generative AI has to learn off of other creations. And so, yeah, that was a warning that Furukawa put out there. It's also been out there by many others, but for the purpose of our channel, we're worried about what Nintendo has said on generative AI in the past. Now, we're going to dive into this story because holy crud, does it look really bad. Uh, but before we do, I want to remind you, if you're enjoying this kind of report, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. We're on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So yeah, every subscriber counts. Also, head down in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are on AI in general. This report was actually broken originally by 404 Media. So 404 Media over here has a has this uh, report coming up saying AI video generator runway trained on thousands of YouTube videos without permission. So as you go down here, it says a highly praised AI video generation tool made a multi-billion dollar company. Runway was secretly trained by scraping thousands of videos from popular YouTube creators and brands, as well as pirated films, according to a massive internal spreadsheet of training data obtained by 404 Media. And we're gonna look at that data in a moment and focus squarely on the Nintendo aspect. But the model, initially codenamed Jupiter and released officially as Generation 3, Three, drew widespread praise from the AI development community and technology outlets covering its launch when Rumway released it in June. Last year, Rumway raised $141 million from investors, including Google and NVIDIA, at a $1.5 billion valuation. When TechCrunch asked Rumway co-founder and Nastasis Germanidis, I, I'm really sorry, I know I'm going to butcher names, in June, where the training data for Gen 3 came on, he would not offer specifics. We have an in-house research team that oversees all of our training, and we use curated internal data sets to train our models. German Didas told TechCrunch. The spreadsheet of training data viewed by 404 Media and our testing of the model indicates that part of its training data is popular content from the YouTube channels of thousands of media and entertainment companies, including The New Yorker, Vice News, Pixar, Disney, Netflix, Sony, and many others. It also includes links to channels and individual videos belonging to popular influences and content creators, such as Casey Neistat, Sam Kohler, Benjamin Harmon, Marquise Brownlee, and numerous others. The spreadsheet is here and we'll look at this in a moment. Uh, while 404 Media couldn't confirm that every single video included in the spreadsheet was used to train Gen 3, it's possible that some content was filtered out later or not that every single link on the spreadsheet was scraped. The training data reveals specifics about the generative AI industry, which has been repeatedly accused of training models on copyrighted material. Now, Obviously, this is a pretty big no-no, and there's a couple reasons that it's a big no-no. While Google has invested in this company, one thing to remember is that Google's actual, like their terms, like the actual rules that run the platform state, that nobody is allowed to scrape YouTube. So yeah, we all know that we can get you know, music and trailers and all that, and Google sort of doesn't care, but no one's allowed to like scrape the actual YouTube platform of their videos and use it to train outside algorithms. It is strictly against YouTube's terms of service. And so while YouTube has invested, or I should say their parent company, Google, has invested into this company, this is not good because they're already breaking, just by scraping the videos, even if they end up not using some of the data, 
It doesn't matter. They're not allowed to scrape YouTube. It's strictly against YouTube's policy. But setting that aside, and that's why Google and YouTube might end up being ultimately upset. And I can see maybe Google pulling funding if it hasn't happened already. I'm sure there's already some investigations going on. Imagine all the other companies that have their copyrighted material stolen and likely used to train the AI model. And you can actually go use the Gen 3 stuff right now if you want. I'll put a link down in the description. Not saying you should, but you can clearly see where it is getting references from YouTube channels. Uh, you want some laptop stuff? Uh, some of the stuff they're training it on is like footage from LTT's laptop videos, Linus Tech Tips. And uh, I actually found one in particular that was like one to one. So I, anyways, let's get into uh, the actual spreadsheet here. Uh, so there's a number of big things, but this is the this is the the one we're focused on the Jupiter list because Jupiter again is their generation three AI. And I already searched up Nintendo as you're seeing right here. And you can see we got ten columns for Nintendo. You see Nintendo DE, Nintendo America, Nintendo UK, Nintendo Japan, Nintendo Australia, Nintendo SEA, Nintendo Mobile, Nintendo France, Nintendo ES, and Nintendo HK official. Now. As you see, they scraped 3,900 videos, 6,100, 2,600, 3,100, 1,500, 235, 1,500, 3,300, 3,973. This is tens of thousands of videos. And what were they looking for? They were looking for princess. If you look at this, the relevant keywords, they were looking for princess footage. They wanted footage of princess. And so Mario, princess, and animation were the search terms they used, and that's the kind of videos that they were downloading. Uh, but yeah, they wanted footage of a princess to train their AI on how to make animated footage of princesses. So if you see some Princess Peach or Princess Zelda or some sort of princess related thing where these generative AI is conveniently creating something that looks awfully similar to a Nintendo character, you'll understand why, because they directly stole Nintendo's content. Whether they used it, we don't know, but they definitely scraped and took the videos right off of YouTube. Pretty insane. And as you go through this list, it, 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 there's some insane channels, you know, just on I mean, this list. Look how long this is. Like, this is just, look at this. I mean, <laughs> it just keeps going. Thousands and thousands, nearly 4,000 channels. Uh, there, there's so much in here. Line of Septics, Marcus Brownlee, Disney, Pixar, uh, you could you could just see this list. It is insane. We'll put a link to this document down below because I know I think the 404 media article uh, It's not behind a paywall, but it is behind a uh, you have to sign up for an account sort of thing So we'll just link to this down below We'll also link to 404 media who did all the digging into this and the verif verif verifying of everything But this is insane. This is just utterly insane. This is all YouTube they, they, they this is not you're not supposed to do this by the way this is against YouTube's terms. You're not allowed to scrape YouTube. Uh, and a lot of these companies have copyrighted material. Obviously, all of Nintendo's self-created trailers and animations, that's all copyrighted to Nintendo. Yeah, there is um, licenses for reuse and stuff like that for comedic purposes, but this company that took it all, this company is not what they're used for. This company uses it, gets used in movies. This company gets used in high-end video production. It's pretty insane. Um, and it shows one of the biggest issues to date with AI, and that is stealing other people's work to end up creating something original. And again, I'm air quoting original because if you're just mishmashing other people's work together, then what are you actually creating? Especially if you don't have permission. It's one thing if you train your AI based on content that you purchased and have, you know, the ability and it, the, not the ability, but the permissions to do with. That people don't have an issue with. Like if you create a generative AI model and you go uh, to s select artists and you say, hey, we want to purchase your art for the purpose of training our generative AI. What price would you want for that? And an artist says, that's totally fine. Just pay me X amount of money per piece you're going to use. Or if you want my whole portfolio, you need to pay me one large lump sum of whatever to train your AI model. That's actually fine. No one's got a problem with that. The problem here is this company, that's not what they did. They just took whatever they wanted. That's it. They took whatever they wanted. Runway just said, you know what? Screw it. If it's available on the internet, it's mine to use, which is not how legal copyrights work. Um, let's just load up the website here. I didn't have it up, uh, but just to kind of show you 
what's going on. In case you don't even want to uh, visit this website, I mean, look at this Generation 3 stuff. You're seeing some of the uh, Generation 3 creations right here, you know, that, that don't exist in real life. This goat, uh, it's lagging right now, but this goat right here is like floating in the air. Obviously, that's not real life footage you can get without like green screen work and other stuff. Uh, so that's made by AI, but you know, this might be based on stolen footage. Uh, a fireball traveling through. Um, why it's lagging so much. Oh, there you go. See, now, now it's done not lagging as much. Anyways, uh, pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy stuff. I, uh, the generative AI is a really, really interesting and really cool tool. The problem is that it's almost impossible for anything to be made by it without being trained on a set of data. If that set of data is other people's copyrighted work, then you're breaking the law. Straight up, you're breaking the law. And look, as I said, Nintendo's extremely lit litigious. Disney's extremely litigious. If they are found to have not only taken this data, but have used it to train their AI, needless to say, there's going to be a massive lawsuit happening. And I wouldn't be surprised if Runway just ends up going out of business. Now, obviously, this litigious stuff's gonna take a long time, and right now, everything's probably in the discovery slash we're looking into it phase, uh, because right now, it's just a single report with a document, and you know, you gotta get access to some stuff. Google might have more access, since they were an investor. They could be like, hey, we invested money. Please tell me you weren't scraping YouTube. Oh, no, we weren't. Well, we need to see. We need to, we need to see all the evidence that you actually weren't scraping YouTube. Uh, because that's a problem. And as cool as these videos look, and I, I, dude, I admit, like generative, I mean, look at this. This is some cool stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that generative AI can't make cool things. They, they, these are some really cool footage, really cool stuff. It, it, it does make, you know, the fact that you can get this done without having to spend millions and billions of dollars to get this kind of stuff done now. Now you can get this done with generative AI. That is cool. It just, it can't be done off the labor of copyrighted work you didn't have permission. You have to be willing to spend that upfront cost to get access and permission to use the videos you scrape for your AI training models. That's the real issue here. It's not so much that generative AI exists in this way. It's that they didn't get the permissions to use the works they're using to train the AI to do this cool stuff. So in the end, I just, I'm, I'm very frustrated by all of this. Uh, I, I'm, and this is just me as a user, because I think we've all known that the biggest issue facing AI is the fact that it does steal copyrighted work. Uh, I did check my channels, not among the ones scraped. Uh, so I don't know what they would scrape my channel for. I guess if they want a, uh, you know, white middle-aged fat man, um, I guess they're probably better channels to scrape for than mine. Uh, wearing a Zelda hat. Maybe that's the key. Wearing a Zelda hat. That's what they want for their generative man. But no, my channel didn't get scraped, but many others did. Obviously, I'm just not popular enough for them to care to train their model off it. Every channel they took, I believe, was over a million subscribers at least. So... I don't know. This whole thing to me is just uh, very frustrating. And Nintendo and all these other companies are probably even more frustrating. Even though they saw this coming, you know, Nintendo's Furukawa said that's one of the issues with generative AI. It's still just got to be incredibly frustrating to uh, see this really popular multi-billion dollar company um you know do this so this will probably all get taken care of in the court systems and hopefully new laws get made around this not that there aren't current laws that protect it like you can't take people's copyrighted work that's already a protected thing <sighs> man i just this is this is just a weird story man it's a weird story um and it's kind of weird because like we're defending multi-billion dollar businesses um from theft that was taken with another multi-billion dollar business what a weird, what a weird thing. Uh, bad on you, Runway. That's all I'm gonna say is, as cool as all of this looks, and as neat as these videos are, like, bad on you. Bad on you. Uh, you're, you're, you're stealing people's work to make this happen. I just... All right, guys. Uh, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all this down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.